Hi guys and welcome back. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've done a video. Um, I'll show you the reason why. So normally my garage looks like this. I've got way too much stuff in it. I've got an SR I'm finishing. I've got a Z250. I've got the Harley and now we've got the two Cubs. So really for me to get anything done, I have, every time I come out here, I have to take all these bikes out which is okay in the summer, but in the winter when it's raining, I don't really want to get them wet. Uh, there's lots of bits on there that I don't want to go rusty or, you know, keep. I want to keep it new, basically. So with the weather we've had lately, it's been icy, raining, all the bad things, everything I don't want to leave my bikes out in. Um, but I have to get on with some videos because I think I'm getting lazy now. Um, yeah, so today, I'm going to be finishing off this, well not finishing, but I'm going to be doing a couple of parts to the SR. I've got an engine case on the other side which needs painting. I had a small fuel leak as I was moving the tank uh, and it took the paint off the casing. So I'm going to get this casing finished. Uh, I have to put a little fixing in here, put the seat on and that's it. And then I'll, uh, I will do a walk around eventually of it, um, but I just built it before I started filming. There she is. So here's the engine case. Uh, that's where the fuel got it. Um, so yeah, just needs a quick shot blast and I'll be painting it. I'll be using uh, U-Pole Etch and the VHT wheel paint. Now, I don't really need the temperature for this. It doesn't get that hot, but I just like the finish. It does give a really nice finish. So here's the part, uh, I'll give it a light shot blast. I know there is still a little bit of paint on there, I'm not that fast, um, just to tie it up really. Uh, some, some little dings that I filled earlier, first time I painted it. So I'm just gonna give it a quick rub off, quick scotch, get rid of any sort of ingrained uh, aluminum oxide, and then we'll start priming it.
Right, so because of the temperature in here, what we've done is I've given it a quick warm up. I've warmed up the paint. It's important to get everything up to a nice temperature before you paint. So the directions on the can say to leave to off gas for 20 to 30 minutes so because I'm going to be painting this wet on wet which means I'm not going to let it chemically dry it will just stay sticky um, I'm going to do it half that time and it should be fine still got a little mark there but I don't mind that <laughs> So with the VHT, they recommend two light coats followed by one medium coat. So what I'll do first, just get all the awkward bits, all the edges. go over the main part. Call it framing usually. Yeah. That's the first light coat. So I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. I think you can kind of see it, but a light coat or semi-closed coat, you can just sort of see the undercoat through there or the primer. And then the next coat hopefully should cover that. And then uh, we'll give a like a finished coat. So these are sort of the cover coats to make sure you've got everything silver covered nice. And then the final coat will give it the, uh, the finish you want. Okay, it's been 12 minutes. Second coat. and then give it sort of like a finished coat all over just to set the silver.
There we go. So as you can see, the silver's all nicely placed now. There's no black streaks or sort of dark streaks. It's what you normally get when you paint the silver, if it's dry or too wet. That's looking good. In a minute, I'm going to come back once it's dry and we'll touch in the Yamaha with black. Um, I may do the gear pattern there. See how it goes. Okay, so uh, all dry now. Uh, I'm just going to touch in these letters. So I've got some black base coat. I'm going to try and get them in. <laughs> 